Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to use AirDrop. AirDrop is Apple's wireless technology that allows you to transfer documents and pictures between different iPhones, iPads, and Macs. This will be very important coming up with the new MacBook because it doesn't have very many connectors and Apple's going all wireless. And it's actually something I use a lot and people have asked me, how do I use it? So let's go ahead and show you an example. So here we have an iPad Air 2, an iPhone 6 Plus, and I also have a Mac as well that's helping me record some of this video and edit. But let's turn this on. We'll unlock and you can see they look real similar, but let's take a photo here. We'll just take a photo of the iPad. Now say I want to wirelessly transfer this over to the iPad. Now what I'll need to do is actually be on the same Wi-Fi network. And once we're on the same Wi-Fi network, that's all set. We also need to have Bluetooth turned on. So you have Bluetooth down here. I have Bluetooth turned on here as well. And that helps it communicate. So what we do is we'll go to our photos. Here's the photo we took, and maybe I want to send it over to my iPad. I'm going to tap on the share button here, and it pops up. Now in this Air, AirDrop space here, you can see my iPad and my MacBook Pro popped up. So let's tap on iPad, and you can see it transferred right away. And it opens it up and shows us what we just sent over to it. It's real simple, and we can do this with documents as well. So maybe we want to send a document. We'll go to Pages. And within pages, maybe we'll create a document. I will just do a blank one. Test. We'll say tomorrow since that was easy. And maybe we want to send this document as a PDF over to our iPhone. So we'll go to our send or share button and we can send a copy. And this will work between different devices. So maybe your friend has an iPad there and we'll send it via AirDrop. And you can see there's my iPhone. It popped up over here and it asks me, what do I want to open it with? Well, since this is a PDF, I can open it with iBooks or pretty much anything, but let's open it with iBooks. I've got some books in there and there's our document that I sent over as a PDF. Real simple to do. And it also works on the Mac as well. Nothing special on the Mac. Bluetooth just has to be turned on. Maybe I want to send that same exact document over to my Mac and I can simply do that by tapping on the share button again, send a copy. We'll send it as a PDF. And again, AirDrop will pop up and I want to send it to my MacBook Pro this time. So we'll tap on this. You'll see it will immediately come in here. And this has a little bit of a glitch for some reason right there, but we'll tap on this. It'll say blank and you can see it says the exact same thing. Test tomorrow, same exact document. You can do the same thing from a Mac back to your iPhone or iPad. So if we have this document, we can click on share, airdrop, airdrop will pop up and it will give us the option back to the iPhone or iPad. And if I click on that, you'll see it just jumped back to the iPhone. So really simple, really easy, and a nice little tool to use. You just need to make sure the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth are turned on, and it's pretty simple. I really like it. I use it all the time, and it's a great way to transfer even large files, such as things maybe you edited in iMovie on your iPad, send it over to your iPhone and vice versa or wherever you'd like. So it's pretty simple, but if you have any other questions about it, maybe you've found some different uses for it, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.